what's your sense of the market movement we're seeing at the moment? Hello. Ni, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Let's take a look at uh, what sense you're making of the market movement we're seeing over in Nigeria at the moment. Uh, so last week, we, the market closed on a negative note. But we we'll see that since the start of the year, the market has been bullish. I believe there is a lot of uh, profit-taking activities uh, taking place. And of course, the direction of CBN the general economic uh, condition, I believe, is weighing on the market right now. Let's hone in on some of the banking stocks and the activity we're seeing there. I mean, we've got Zenith Bank, one of those stocks that has certainly fallen hard. Uh, we know that this is one of the banks that will see its CEO exit in July uh, on account of a limit on tenure that's been imposed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Could that have been a reason for the fall or is there more to it? Now, if you look at the Zenith stock, the week before the last, it gained uh, about 7.7%. And previous week, it lost about 9.9%. .9%. I believe there is a, uh, uh, there is a profit taking activities on Zenith stock. And when you look at the CBM policy statement, it's expected to affect not just Zenith, SkyBank and UBA too are inclusive. But when you look at SkyBank, UBA, they both close on a positive note. And in addition, when you look at the Zenith stock, it's trading at a price to book value of about 1.09. And when you look at the industry, industry is trading at a price to book value of 0 0.94. So the stock is relatively expensive. I don't want to believe it's the CBM policy statement that has brought a drastic decline in the stock in the previous week. Overall, the analysts we've been speaking to have been positive about these new measures being implemented by the central bank. What's your view on these new steps? Please, I didn't get that question. Your, uh, what's your view, Ni, on the steps being taken by the Central Bank of Nigeria to limit the tenure of uh, bank CEOs? Yeah, you see, in my own opinion, it's not about the personality of the MD. The success of a bank is dependent on getting the right people to formulate and implement the right strategies for the company. So I think uh, we are going to go beyond that era where the success of a company or a bank will be tied to an individual. So for me, it's getting the right person to implement the right policy. And if you get a person who is good, competent, can drive the business successfully, I don't think it's necessary to limit the time of that person. For me, it's about the right person, get the right person to drive the business. If you can get the person, we are fine. The tenor should not be an important issue here. Well, broadly speaking, there seems to be some consensus amongst analysts regarding uh, that new rule that's being implemented. In the meantime, we do have investors that are pretty cautious around the banking sector, and that uh, largely the reason behind the fact that we're seeing uh, such volatility within the banking arena. The consumer goods stocks, in the meantime, seem to be holding up quite nicely. Cadbury is a standout in this regard. How are you viewing Cadbury right now? Yeah, it's, it's interesting to see Calbury posting a gain of over 26.7% last week. But when you look at that stock, you recall that last year, second half of last year, the company came out to do a right issue, you know, with the detection of raising about 22 billion naira. And part of the plans for that fund is to liquidate debt to the tune of 15.2 billion naira. And the news coming to the market now is that the right issue was very successful. And when you look at that, if the Cadbury is going to liquidate 15.2 billion naira of its debt, and when you consider the cost of fund of the company at about 16.5 percent, that would be interest savings of about 2.5 billion naira, which is more or less adequate to reverse the loss of about 2.8 billion naira that the company made for 2008 financial year. I think the response of investors to that stock is a function of the reasonable expectation that the company will, report, will return to profitability this year. And that expectation is really strong. And I expect the rally to continue uh, well, in the short term. Of course, we've got uh, the British confectioner facing the prospect of a takeover bid by parent company Kraft Foods. Implications there. How are you reading that international news? And uh, what are some of the implications the local stock said to have? Yeah, the Kraft Calbury deal, at this stage, I don't think the investors are beginning to factor that in the uh, market, especially as it concerns Calbury. Uh, in particular, 
because when you look at it, uh, Cadbury, really Cadbury, the parent company in the British, in UK, owns about 50% of Cadbury in Nigeria. And they actually increased that stake from 46% in 2006 to 50%. Um, that shows that the current parent company, they have keen interest in the Nigerian market. So with the craft deal, I don't know if the deal works through the new management. I don't know what their strategy will be for Nigerian market. I think there's, that's a kind of uncertainty. So at this point, I don't want to uh, uh, relate that to the rally we've seen on Calgary stock in recent time, because there are a lot of things that will still need to, that will still need to know after the successful uh, acquisition. 